We're in our fourth and final phase of this journey of becoming a strength coach. We're talking about now stay or go. And this is, again, a more of a metaphor than anything, but the truth is, is we're always going to be faced with this dilemma of should we stay at a job for a period past the point where I'm maybe even enjoying it or even bringing value, or should I go somewhere else and maybe try to reignite a flame or start anew or get more compensation or opportunity? This will easily be one of the biggest challenges of coaching that you'll face. And I want to spend this module talking about personal experiences as well as really the bigger picture of what is the right strategy to apply when you're trying to decide to stay or go, and then hopefully we can make the best decision possible. So scenario, I've been working at a job for three, four years. Let's just say that's the average cycle you're gonna be at a school while you're going through your career, right? School and organization, three to four years is probably that window until you reach a job, whether it's really close to home, it's really good for your family, you get really good payment or compensation, you just generally really like working there, chances are most of your jobs are gonna be this window of three to four years. I'm just speaking personally, but anecdotally as well, it's probably the window there. And why is it three to four years? Typically, that's the, the cycle of a contract for college football or athletic departments to roll through coaches is this idea that you got three to four years to prove yourself, and if not, we're just going to cut bait and move on, which you kind of fall into that life cycle, right? And then if you make the way into Olympic sports and you have a little bit more job security and you find a way to become more of this like tenured position, it's a different conversation because now you are trying to fight, scratch, kick, and crawl to create purpose and meaning with your job every single day. That edge you get with working with football or basketball really puts you in a place of like, I am coming out guns blazing and I'm going to make as much of an impact on a daily basis as I possibly can until I can't no more. And that's the, the cycle here. And when we get to this constant evolution and just rebirth and regrowth into a new place and new start, it always comes down to this this philosophical thing of, am I a product of constant and forever changing environments? Am I this person that has figured out how to adapt and, and assimilate into new environments really well? And each time a version of myself that is better is being presented to that next school and organization? Or am I just this constant steady growth and I could be the same person from a coaching perspective at the same school over a longer period of time. Like growth is something that you really have to maybe look at it from this almost nature versus nurture of I am in an environment and my forced evolution is predicated off survival. So I have to be really strategic, really smart, improve in a lot of ways, be very cunning, be very tactical, be very assertive, very, very confident. Athletic departments are hierarchical. There are a little bit of bureaucracy. There's a lot of politics. There's a lot of cutthroat. Uh, there's just a lot of elements that really push you to become a version of yourself at a rapid manner. And I personally loved that feel. I love that pressure. I love putting myself out front, making myself the standard and saying, my job is to not lower my expectations for you. Your job is to raise your standards to get on my level. And that puts you out on a pedestal and it makes you really come to work every single day and bring it. But that's the transition of the job. That's the organization of the job. But it does lead to burnout and it does lead to this element of am I happy? And I think that's the part where we have to really evaluate, should you go to another organization or program or school? Should you leave the entity entirely? And I'm gonna talk about that in, the, in our next module. Is this like going in the team versus the private sector, which I know a lot of you guys know my personal story of, I've been able to go from a college strength conditioning profession and doing a high level there and now moving into the private sector and then moving into another direction off of that with continued education and mentorship and support of strength conditioning coaches. But it's this proverbial question that you have to start to wonder of, should I stay at a job or should I go? And I get this question quite a bit from a lot of young staff because it's a very, very difficult thing to answer. 
And generally speaking, the Occam's razor of the most simplest, most logical explanation is the one that you should probably go with. And if you hate your job, if you hate being all the way across the country, you don't like where you're living, your spouse is really, really upset living there, your family's unhappy, just a lot of things are piling up, it's pretty obvious you should go. On the other end, if everyone seems to love it and you have a really good place that you're working, you really love the coaches that you're working with and the apartments that you're working with and everything going with it and you get an opportunity, it's pretty easy. You shouldn't go. And I think that's the part that most people just want to have that conversation and soundboard this and make sure that they're not crazy and just trying to solicit some sort of of conversation to get at least their head around this of not every opportunity is better not every opportunity is something you should take that sometimes the best opportunity is the one you currently have but we have this built-in nature of we are always somewhat transitioning we get fired or we get promoted that's the constant thought that there's no just chop wood carry water in terms of your profession it's just basically it's either you are fighting or flighting every single day so when you get an opportunity whether someone headhunted you or you were kicking around on football scoop and you saw a position open and then you're like hey, i'm gonna throw my name in the mix and see what happens and all of a sudden you get an interview or ah, you know i really wish i could get more and i don't really know how to address this with my athletic director or my 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 coach that i'm working with so i'm just going to start to look elsewhere as opposed to having these hard conversations with people i see on a daily basis and as we start to go through that and these opportunities present themselves then you go okay like should i should i really consider this and you start to have to just evaluate that relatively speaking to the good versus the bad are we aggregating more good days than bad days we should stay if we're aggregating aggregating more bad days than good days we should go right and that's what we talked about the last modules the the day one metaphor of approaching each day the idea of finding purpose or providing value the idea of what is your actual job and what is a good day depending on the time of the year right and i look at that as like all right well a lot of people are just kind of flying by blind and what's a good or bad day so when these opportunities are coming and they present themselves you really don't know what to do and what you really need to get back down to is your roots of what is a good and bad day what's your purpose what value do you bring are you coming at it every single day like are you forced to leave because you aren't doing the job that you know you could be doing or are you having a ton of opportunities based off the job that you are doing and either way it comes in this really hard conversation of like man maybe i just need to start new and go somewhere else or maybe i need to stay here and really lock in because i have a great place to work and it's not going to get better it's just this is the way place i want to be and these are the things that you always constantly have to evaluate but my message to you on this module is really simple is if it's very obvious you have a great place that you work and you really love working there you don't need to change if it's really obvious that you don't like working there and your family doesn't want to be there and you really want to leave you should leave it's fortunate that you have opportunities remember that that you are at one point in your career not having any opportunities that you were hoping, wishing, and praying that you one day could be a full-time strength and conditioning coach, and now you are. And now you have a lot of opportunity in front of you. That having more job opportunities than less opportunities is always better. But the question would be is, what are you valuing and what do you actually associate with a good or bad job? Is it arbitrary? Is it just random? You should figure that out. So that's my module task for you is make sure that you have an inventory of what is good and what is bad. And there's a great line from Rick Majerus's My Life in a Napkin when he was working at Marquette and he had an opportunity to go to work for the Milwaukee Bucks of should he stay or should he go? Creates a, a line graph, go right down the middle, stay or go. If he's getting more check marks in the stay, he stays at Marquette. If he gets more check marks on the go, he goes to the Bucks. We could do that in our sense, but the sense is like all these things. I'm close to home. I like my boss. I like the athletes I work with. I love my weight room. I designed it start to finish. It's my baby. I made this thing from nothing. I created this apartment from nothing. I love my staff. I love the opportunities it presents. I love the, the area that I'm living. I love my home, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. It's very obvious you should stay. 
right? And that's the idea is create some sort of metric that you can objectively evaluate it. And if you're just waiting for me to give you permission to go, you've already, you've already behind, right? And fortunate that you have a great opportunity, but you're now playing, playing roulette with your career. And chances are when you gamble with something like that and not really objectively evaluate it, you're never really going to have the career that you want. All right, let's stop right here. Let's get on to that next module.